Welcome to Boodley Books. Today's book is a really good one. It's a true story, and it's called Dogs in Space. Oh, oh, this is great. Thanks so much. You're welcome. I know that you wanted to read a story about dogs, and I found uh, this one about about these dogs that went into outer space. Oh. Are you pulling my leg? No, I'm not pulling your leg. It's true. Oh, whoa, this looks good. Yeah. This is my pal Jones. Oh, and uh, I hope you enjoy today's book, Dogs in Space. Let's go. Okay. The amazing true story of Belka and Strelka. Oh, that rhymes. Yes, that rhymes. Belka and Strelka. Dogs in Space by Vic Southgate, illustrated by Iris Depp. Okay, here we go. This is a Wren and Rook book. Moscow, USSR, 1951. Oh, that was a while ago. Yes, it was. It was a cold, gloomy night in the back streets of Moscow. A pack of scrawny, hungry dogs was rummaging through dustbins, hoping to find a few scraps to eat, when a delicious smell wafted towards them. Following their noses, they found a man placing morsels of fresh meat on the pavement. Oh, oh boy, it's a trap! Well, we'll see. Most of the dogs were shy and stayed in the shadows, but two little scruff balls, their noses twitching bravely, came forward. They gobbled up the meat and cheekily looked up as if to ask for more. The man, who was called Oleg, smiled. He knew at once he had found what he was looking for. Oleg was a scientist at Moscow's Space Center and was hoping to find two special dogs who might be brave enough for a very important mission. The two new arrivals were named Belka and Strelka. They were given a tasty dinner and a kennel of their own. Ooh, nice digs. Yeah, they get their own place. For the first time in their lives, they had enough to eat and a warm place to sleep. There were dogs of every kind at the center. Some were bold and playful. Some were snappy or growly. Some were gentle and well-behaved. But Belka and Strelka stood out. They were clever and calm, brave and obedient. Oleg was delighted. All the dogs were given a health check, then weighed and measured to make sure they weren't too big or too small for the mission. Oh, wait, what mission? Well, you're going to have to wait and find out. Oh, this is getting exciting. Yeah, Belka and Strelka were just the right size. Oh, they check eyes, ears, teeth, heart, size, and weight. Oh. Yep. Uh, after all the tests were complete, Oleg had to decide which two dogs would be chosen. Oh. Well, this was a long time ago, uh, Jones. They, they, th this is history. Oh, okay. Finally, he made up his mind. He gathered the dogs together to make his announcement. The two brave little strays he had found on the streets were soon to become the most famous dogs in the world. Belka and Strelka were going to be space dogs. Space dogs! Yes. Wow. Belka and Strelka were going on a special mission to space to fly all the way around the Earth, a journey called an orbit. Oh, get out! No, it's true. This is history. Whoa. They seemed to know something exciting was happening. They wagged their tails. They were ready to start training straight away. The two little cosmonauts needed to get used to how it would feel inside the rocket. Some of the exercises were practicing staying calm with loud noises around them, 
spending time in special kennels to get used to being on their own away from people, and standing on a platform that shook under their paws. Whoa, woof, that would be uh, kind of weird. <laughs> yeah, they practiced again and again until they were finally ready for their mission. There was only one thing left to do, put on their special doggy spacesuits. Oh, they get their own space suits. Yes, they do. A red one for Strelka and a green one for Belka. Oh, that is so cool. <laughs> yes, I think so. Wow, they're going to go into outer space. Launch day, 19th of August, 1960. Finally, the big day arrived. The rocket stood on the launch pad, ready for blast-off. Belka and Strelka were ready, too. The rocket shuddered, shook, rumbled, and roared. Five, four, three, two, one! And then broke free and soared into the sky. Up and up it went through the clouds until it reached space. Belka and Strelka's great adventure had begun. All was still and quiet as Belka and Strelka began their orbit. Oh, that is so amazing. Yeah. The ground crew watched on their television monitors. Everything was working as it should. But why were Belka and Strelka so still? Everyone held their breath. Belka and Strelka were not moving at all. Oh no, no, is this going to be a sad story? Just wait, we have to finish reading. Minutes turned into hours. It was feared the brave little space dogs had not survived the launch. Then suddenly, someone thought they saw Belka wriggle. Could it be? Yes! And then Strelka started to wag her tail and bark. Oh, oh, that's so great! Oh, oh, you had me worried there! I'm, I'm sorry, Jones. It's, it, it's kind of an exciting story. Yeah. The team cheered and clapped and hugged each other. Some even cried with joy and relief. Oh, did they really love those dogs? Yes, they did. Belka and Strelka were alive. Oh, yay, celebration! Yes. <sighs> what a relief. Round and round the earth they flew. They saw the blue of the oceans and the greens and browns of the land shining against the blackness of space. Not even a human had seen such sights. Belka and Strelka circled the earth many times until at last it was time to go home. What? Oh, dogs! Dogs were in outer space before the humans! Yes, they were. They got to see the Earth from outer space before we did. Go, dogs! <laughs> yes, that's amazing. As the spacecraft zoomed back into the Earth's atmosphere, flames began to lick at the windows. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, this is getting scary again. Okay, just hang on. We're almost done. Down, down, they plummeted at high speed. The team at the space station grew very quiet. Landings could be dangerous. Then suddenly, a parachute opened and slowed the spacecraft down. Belka and Strelka watched the ground getting closer and closer and closer the rescue team was waiting. Thump! Whoa! You scared me! It's okay. They rushed to the spacecraft and flung open the door. Two little faces peeped out. Two little tails started wagging. And two brave little dogs were gently lifted out, safe and well. Belka and Strelka were home. Oh, my tail's wagging too. Oh, that's so great. <laughs> yeah, that is good. They they landed safely. Yeah. Oh, I'm so glad they did. 
Within a few hours of landing, news of Belka and Strelka's amazing journey had spread all around the world. They were celebrated and loved everywhere they went. Pictures of them appeared everywhere, on stamps and postcards, on television and in newspapers. Even films and cartoons were made about their adventures. Everyone wanted to see the two brave little dogs that had flown around the earth. But the story didn't end there. Not long afterwards, Strelka gave birth to six healthy puppies, and both dogs went on to live long and happy lives. Oh, a, a dog, a space dog pup was given to a uh, president of the United States back then, John Kennedy? Yes, P Pushinka, <laughs> that was the name of the puppy. Oleg was very proud of his two little cosmonauts, for without them, one of the most wondrous missions of all might never have taken place. Belka and Strelka's brave adventure had blazed a trail for humans to follow, which just goes to show that it doesn't matter where you come from. If two little dogs from the streets of Moscow can make history, then perhaps you can too. What, you mean me? Well, maybe, Jones, you could do something uh, amazing with, with your dog life. Oh, I'll think about it. Okay. The Space Race. In 1960, the year Belka and Strelka successfully orbited Earth, the United States and the Soviet Union were in the middle of a space race to see who could push the boundaries of space exploration the furthest. So, in 1947, uh... The American scientists launched the first living creatures in space, fruit flies. Fruit flies? Yeah. And then in 1949, they sent a monkey called Albert II. Oh, unfortunately, he did not survive the mission. Oh, that's terrible. I know. 1951, Soviet scientists launched more than 50 dogs. Whoa! They had to be small enough to fit into a spacecraft, uh, and they had to be between six and seven kilograms, measure no more than 35.5 centimeters in height. Oh, oh, could I do that? Oh, well, I, I don't know. We'd have to measure you. And then in 1960, on board Belka and Strelka's flight in 1960, there were a range of living things, including 40 mice. What? Yeah, a rabbit. Oh, I could go for a rabbit. Well, they, they were passengers, not, not something you're supposed to chase on the spacecraft. Oh. Two white rats, insects, and plants. Oh, oh, that went up. Yeah, with Belka and Strelka. 1963, uh, French scientists launched the first and only cat ever to be sent to space. Her name was Felicette. Felicette. Oh, a cat. Oh, I think dogs do better. Yeah, I, actually, dogs did better in space. Space exploration today. By the mid-1970s, the space race had fizzled out, and in recent years, scientists from all around the world have worked together on missions to space. Oh, like the International Space Center? Yes, we have sent um, scientists from all over the world on the same uh, mission in the same place working together. Well, that's much better. Yeah, I think so, too. Yeah, that's a good way to do it. Okay. And at the back of this book, it shows a timeline of the journey to space, including pictures of the actual dogs. Look at that. Wow. And in the future, maybe uh, humans will go to Mars. Oh, I want to go, too. Well, we'll see. Maybe they'll send dogs in to Mars also. The dedication at the back, the author dedicated this book uh, for all the aspiring explorers, inventors, and dreamers. You are the future. And the illustrator uh, dedicated the illustrations to David Bowie. <gasps> oh, wow. I know that song. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you so much for joining us. 
And I hope you will go out and buy this amazing book, Dogs in Space. Oh, I give it five stars. I'm ready to, I'm ready to take off too. Into outer space? Yeah, I want to go to Mars. Oh, send me. Oh, well, may happen someday. Oh, I hope so. I'm ready to start the countdown. Five, four, three, two, one, blast off! Oh my, you are excited. Yeah, I can't wait to start training. Okay, well, we better get busy then. Oh, we'll see you later. Okay, goodbye. Thanks for joining us.